Technoblade is somebody I look up to quite a lot and his videos have always been helpful for me especially with his humor because it just kind of brightens your day to watch one of his videos and although he didn't have the most quantity based upload schedule when a Technoblade video gets uploaded you know what you're getting yourself into and it's just great and with the recent news of his passing with a video titled So Long Nerds which is extremely Technoblade of him I thought I'd talk about him for a bit now I'm not going to lie I haven't been watching Technoblade videos since he's first been uploading obviously not I think around the start of quarantine when all the Dream SMP stuff got started up and I was getting really back into Minecraft and things like that. That's when I first got sort of addicted to Technoblade videos. And you know, you'd get that video in your recommended feed of him proving that he's not using an auto clicker and things like that. It's just, his content is sort of a thing where you can't hate it. Even if you don't watch Minecraft like YouTubers in general, he's the one person you can always go back to their channel and watch a video and still have a great time with it. And obviously that video got uploaded a few days ago titled So Long Nerds. And I, I believe it was probably uploaded at night for like American time zones so when i woke up in the morning in the uk i had a notification on my phone titled so long nerds and i watched it straight away and probably like many of you i thought he was just leaving youtube and then you click on the video to see his dad talking about the whole news of him passing away to cancer it's just it's horrible and i know technoblade wouldn't want people to be like sort of upset and, and and he'd probably want people to you know make a few jokes and things because that's what he was doing when he had the news about his arm potentially being amputated he goes on to talk about how he was going to make jokes about it if it did happen and i mean even if his arm did get amputated he'd still be the best in minecraft but his passing sort of felt extremely unexpected i know we knew about his cancer for a good while now probably around 10 or 11 months but in some of these update videos he'd make he says he's doing well and he's obviously sort of hiding it i assume and he was very strong throughout the whole thing still making jokes he was still making a few videos he streamed every now and again and even to his last video titled so long nerds his humor would always shine through and i feel like he didn't want other people to worry about him and you've got to realize that a lot of the minecraft community and a lot of minecraft viewers are actually children and it could be you watching this right now a lot of you have lost an idol i have lost an idol but because minecraft's a very children dominated game there's most likely some very young kids who have just lost an idol and someone they look up to and are having to go through this situation alone. So if that is you, then please tell your parents and, and talk to your friends and things because you may not know him personally. I didn't know him personally, but I know that he would care about everyone a lot. No matter who you are, you shouldn't be going through this alone. And it's good to talk about things. It's good to talk about the good memories and always try and be positive about this situation because no matter what, it's going to hurt, but over time it will get better. And we just have to think of the good memories with him. And a big positive with things like YouTube is that we have a whole archive of Technoblade videos that we can always go back to you can watch his streams right now you can watch his videos and it's sad that he's not around anymore but be thankful that he was here and he's changed so many lives